Anyasya. So for today's episode, we gonna check diary dance practice. So I think they're gonna come out with an MV for this song. Uh, diary came out from their second step chapter one album, mini album. So yeah, we're gonna check that out. Oh, I like the I was about to say jumpsuit, but it's not, it's a short Adidas. Looks good and done. Huh? And why do I feel like they are slowly becoming flower boys? Hmm, yes, you are wow, that's cool. I like this. That's so slick. Yidam is so genius. I'm not too sure if he composed this or produced. Either or, he has like a massive participation in the song. And this song came like a fireball. It's a global hit. Finally, Doyoung getting a lot of exposure. A choir. Who is their conductor? Of course, it's Junkyu. This is a B side. That's not a B side, too. It could be a title track. Oh, nice. I would say that again, this has been like 
for 2022 this has been a global hit like i didn't expect the song to perform like super huge um on set while reviewing the album i was like um mm, it, it's really good song but it wasn't really my favorite out of like the ones in the album i think q is my ultimate b-side but chick chin will definitely be title track um but when i got to hear like darari uh every now and then i guess it went viral and still is today i feel like wow it's really fascinating and it's a sound like no other has done before i think um in tiktok generation i feel like there's more opportunities for artists to be so big and so at least have one hit in tiktok and then they become so huge and i think um treasure is, is an example of that on top of like they have their very strong debut they have very strong yg sound and i still um pretty much know that they are very very early in in their early stages of their career so definitely they're gonna blossom even more but the way i see it they're trying to be more the softer side of yg um they kind of humanize artists of yg a little bit because you know there's so much swag in yg including them including treasure but for treasure their identity is like the softer version of what you see on the current artist of yg with that in mind i think this is a good type of song to put out when all four generation idols are doing so streamlined dancing so streamlined songs and I think that's a breath of fresh air to really hear this type of music from them and their album is kind of different like the best album that has come out in 2022 so far um yeah so that's it so if you have uh, like this reaction you can like and subscribe and i know